Hey, booze. Hey, happy masculine Mondays. I am Regal Essence. I am Queen TV. I'm Queen TV after dark. I'm your ray of sunshine in the afternoon time. I'm your hood therapist. I'm life is a laid back mom. I'm life is a love goddess. And I am your crystal healer and dealer. Hey, booze. Hi. Hi, all my sexy divine masculines and my aspiring divine masculines. Hey, everybody. So, this is going to be a late upload because I uploaded this video on Monday at home, but I didn't like the lighting. The lighting wasn't good. So, this is um, take two. Plus, I like, you know, I like my energy when I'm out in nature. But the reason why I um, was recording it at home is because I needed to use my laptop but instead I just wrote it down you know I just wrote down what I need to tell y'all because I couldn't memorize it so today you guys we are talking about what is your why what is your why why do you do the things that you do why do you get up every day why are you motivated why are you driven what's your why right so some people, I realize, struggle with figuring out exactly what their why is, or you can look at your why as um, your purpose. Like, what is your purpose in life, right? So, knowing what our life purpose is is very, very important because people that know their life purpose are happier, Studies have been shown that people that are working in their life purpose, doing what it is that they are called to do, they're happier than those that are just working a job or people that are just looking to become successful, but they haven't really honed down like what their true passions are in life, okay? So, knowing your why and having your life purpose um, really defined for you mentally and emotionally will help you day to day. It's going to help you be more motivated. It's going to give you a clear path um, to accomplishing your goals, right? It's going to give you a clear path to where it is that you want to be in life. Like, what you want to be? What you want to do? Like, how do you want to make a difference in this world? So, I talk a lot about being here, being chosen, um, doing it, what it is that you're called to do, seeing yourself through God's eyes and all of that stuff, but I'm going to help you guys kind of like cut through the fluff, but it's not fluff, because not not say it's fluff, but I'm going to help you guys kind of like cut through some of that and really just kind of like hone in on what your life purpose is. Sometimes people are working like during this time. We're going through a great awakening. Certain people, they are looking to quit their jobs. Um, they're just looking to do something different, right? Different and new. And actually, what that is, is your soul basically calling you, calling you to your purpose. Your purpose is calling you. So, I'm going to give y'all the magic 15. I'm going to give you guys five. Actually, I'm going to give you guys 10 different ways to kind of like figure out what your purpose is, and then I'm going to give you guys um, some life purpose statements, right? What it's going to sound like once you kind of hone down what your life purpose is. Now, this is something that is good to write down, right, and make it very tangible for you. So I'm going to make it very easy for you today to be able to do that, okay? So, I know I'm talking to my divine masculines, but journaling is very good. Writing things down is very, very good. Um, it just helps you get your feelings out onto paper. It will help you sort through certain things. It'll help you get um, mentally unstuck at times. Sometimes we just have a whole bunch of different thoughts and things like running through our heads, those of us that are um, narcissistic abuse recoveries, um, when you are dealing with someone in a narcissistic relationship, it actually um, it affects your brain, right? So some of us that are coming out of narcissistic relationships have dealt with brain fog or anyone coming out of a narcissistic relationship will oftentimes deal with brain fog. So writing things down, journaling, although journaling may sound girly, um, it is a very, 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 very great way to be able to kind of get a handle on your thoughts and what it is that you're thinking. And then also to... It's a really great way for God to be able to speak 
to you, right? And you may not realize that you hear from God all day, right? You may not realize you hear from God all day. So with journaling, you kind of get to get your thoughts out of your head and onto paper, right? Whether they're good or bad, it doesn't matter. Once you get them down on paper, you have the ability to kind of like sort through things a little bit easier. Okay. So that's your little spill on um, journaling and just writing things down, writing your goals down, writing down exactly what it is that you want, writing down what type of partner it is that you want, what it is that you're looking for. That helps with, um, also journaling helps with manifestations and, you know, things of that nature. But we ain't come here to talk about journaling. We're here to talk about what's your why? What is your why, Divine Masculine? So, I'm going to give you guys 10 ways, 10 ways to kind of like hone down what your life purpose is, right? So, we're going to start with those who may be like completely like... I don't know what my life purpose is, right? Like, you may be right at the very beginning. You may not. You may just still be working a regular job. You may not feel like you have stepped into your life purpose, right? And then some of us have stepped into our life purpose a little bit. We just got our pinky toe in there. We stepped into our life purpose a little bit, and we just still need a little bit of more help of kind of like shaping out exactly what exactly that is right so i'm going to give you five questions for those people that may be a little bit further in the journey and then last but not least i'm going to give you guys some personal purpose statements okay so let's start with finding out what is your life purpose right so some few good ways of being able to kind of tease this out is you're going to ask yourself the question of you're going to think back to your childhood, right? And you're going to think about between the ages of three and seven, what things did you really enjoy doing, okay? Identifying those things are going to kind of give you um, some indication as to kind of like what your natural gifts are, what your natural talents are, what things you are naturally drawn to, okay? Also, you want to think about what things could I do or what thing could I do for, say, a hundred hours. I can watch a hundred videos on it. I can read a hundred books about it. I can sit and listen to somebody talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk about this particular thing, right? This particular subject matter, all right? And it's not women. It ain't bad bitches or women or, or, or none of that, okay? So... What things could you do and then and basically like just like lose a total sense of time because like this is your thing. Like this is what you're like really like you're into it. Like you all about it. Okay. Um, third question you want to ask yourself, and I know people will be like, I ain't jealous of nobody, I ain't jealous of nobody. <laughs> right? But ask yourself, who are you jealous of? Mm, 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 mm. Who are you jealous of? Most times, people are jealous of people that are doing things that they themselves would like to be doing. So that is a good indicator of what it is that your life purpose is or what it is that you should be doing or you would enjoy doing. Okay? Also, you want to ask yourself, what things am I good at? What things am I good at that other people may not be good at? Or what things do I do that comes to comes to me very easily like I can easily do it like it's it's it ain't a thing like I, I I just do this I just does this right what things are those right also what things do along with that question what things do people compliment you on all the time or compliment you on often that's another indicator of a natural gift or talent because the thing is this like sometimes we think that because it comes easy to us that it becomes easy to everybody but in reality it doesn't right so me getting on this camera talking and you know interacting with people things of that nature to me it's easy but to someone else it may not be so easy they may not just naturally be able to do it okay so that's what I mean by what things come very easy to you that may not come easy to other people. Also, what things do people compliment you on often? Okay. And last but not least, with this particular set of questions, you want to ask yourself. Uh, dun, 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 dun. You want to ask yourself, what things do I 
hate? Like, what do I hate? And sometimes as you start to write down the things that you hate or that you dislike, you will start to realize the things that you really do love, right? So that set of questions are for people that are at the very, very beginning and they just now trying to figure this out. They just now trying to tease it out. What exactly their purpose is, their giftings is, what it is that they should be doing for their life. Those are the first set of questions, okay? The second set of questions for those that may already kind of be like feeling like they're flowing, you know, a little bit, a little bit into what it is that they're supposed to be doing. What you can ask yourself is these five questions, okay? Who are you? Uh, Who am I? I'm Tiffany, all right? So, easy, right? Easy answer because the first... The first question is, who am I? You're you or whoever it is that you are, right? And second question, what do I do, right? What what am I good at? What do I love, right? What do I love? What things could I confidently, right now, if somebody came up to me, I could confidently teach these people or this particular person how to do what, right? That's what you do, okay? So we got who we are, what we do. The third question is, um, what do people need or want from me? What do people need or want from me, right? What do people need or want? What do people come to me for? Third question, no, fourth question How are they changed or transformed from that information that I give to them? So when people come to you and they need you, how exactly, you know what I mean? Like how exactly are their, is their life changed or transformed whenever they've come to you? Hmm. So, those questions will give you a good indicator as to what it is that you your life purpose is. Who am I? Who am I here to serve? Right? Who am I here to serve? Um, what is it that they need or want from me? And lastly, how are they changed or transformed whenever they get what it is that they need or want from me? Right? So... If you notice, out of those five questions, the first two are about you. The last three are about other people. Because studies show that people that make other people happy are naturally happier, right? So, as you begin to focus on how what I do, what I bring to the table, my expertise, how that affects the world, who it is that I'm looking to um, bring this goodness to, right? How are they changed and transformed as a result of coming into contact with me or whatever, okay? Those things will help you get into your purpose, right? And be of service to other people. And that's just naturally going to make you happier, okay? So, the last five, the last five, I'm going to give you guys some personal purpose statements and then I'm out of this joint okay so I um drop a comment below let me know if you want me to list the website that I actually um drop a comment if you want me to list the website where I got these from there's multiple websites that have like life purpose statements Okay, so let me know if you want me to drop a link to where it is that I um, got this information from. Okay, all right. So now, if you feel like you're, hold on, y'all, because I'm getting hot. It's hot in here. So, um, drop a comment, like I said, if you want me to um, send you the article. Right. So I just picked out, I just picked out five that I thought would be good according to. People that I know, um, people that are around me, you know, all of that stuff, right? But the article actually had, I think it was like 19, it might have been like 19 or something like that, okay? So I just picked out a few. Now, this may not apply to everybody, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, this is just generalized, you know what I'm saying? So, 
family. Some people feel like I'm here to like I've asked um I've asked people before like what it is that they because y'all know I love answering this question, right? And I've heard um, different men say that they are here to be a good dad. Like, that's their purpose. Like, that's that's what they're good at, being a good dad, right? So, let's look at what a personal purpose statement would look like if um, that is your gift and your purpose and your calling, right? So, um, family, right? So, your, your personal statement, and don't laugh at my nails, y'all. I'm getting them done today. <laughs> So your personal statement would go a little something like this. I work with my family to do what's best for them without neglecting myself and to seek to meet their needs, understand their insecurities, and give them love, support, and help them feel special, important, and irreplaceable. So that is what a personal statement would sound like if you feel like your purpose in life is to build family, okay? Um, next one, say you feel like you're here to help the children, right? A personal um, purpose statement would sound a little something like this. I'm here to help children by being a positive role model and emotional support um, to help them feel loved, secure, and give them what they need to be healthy, happy, and productive, okay? Um, say if yours is giving back to the community, okay? So what that would sound like is... I'm here to contribute to the community to make it better than it was before me and show others how connecting with the community is important and vital, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's community. Uh, la, 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 let me see. Okay, so I have a lot of people who I know are musicians, right? So if yours is, hold on, y'all, let me adjust this lighting. Because y'all know I'm outside. Is it going to let me do it? No. All right. So, I hope the lighting didn't change too much. So, say if yours is music. So, if it's music, you would say, I am here to incorporate music into helping other people with healing, to bring enjoyment, and connect uh, to connect with others more, and to connect with myself more deeply. Okay. So that is music, right? So say if you feel like you are here to be an inspiration to other people or to bring wisdom to other people, your statement would sound a little something like this. I'm here to share wisdom, be and as I learn and grow from my experiences, I will share that wisdom with others. Right? Simple enough. Um, empowering others. So say you believe that you are here to be um, an empowerment to other people. What that is going to sound like is, I am here to help others see their own power and strength and make others feel better about themselves and have an added sense of self-confidence. Right? So that's what it was going to sound like if you are here to be empowering or inspiring or something along those lines okay y'all so i just gave y'all my magic 15 i just gave y'all the magic 15 you guys so that is what life purpose statements sound like i would encourage you to get to working on your life purpose statement it's going to help you be more motivated it's going to remind you what your why is why it is that you get up every day why it is that you are motivated it's also going to help you decide like what things you need and want oh there we go y'all um it's also going to help you decide like what things you need and want in your life, right? Because once you get more focused and you realize this is where I'm going, this is what it is that I want to do, then it makes it easier for you to be able to cut things out of your life that don't really fit with your goals and your purpose and your long-term um, future goals, okay? So that's all I got for y'all on this Divine Masculine Mondays. Divine Masculine, wish your why? Okay, so that's all I got for y'all. Do me a favor. Drop me a comment if you want me to put the link of the article that I um, got the life purpose statements from. Um, share it with your friends. Share this video with your friends. Like, 
comment, subscribe, hit the bell button so you know every time that I post up. And remember, I love you. Peace.